Well, hello, YouTube family. How are ya? Happy New Year, everybody. So, how about we kick off 2023 with another episode of you and me checking out gear in my basement. <laughs> so, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for Telecasters. So, uh, we're going to start this year off with a new guitar purchase. Through the Christmas holidays, I was looking through Amazon and I stumbled on this. So... This is a guitar by that goes with the brand name B Two D. So B T U T Y. So B Two D guitars. Um, I ordered the white one with the black pickguard. I didn't open this; it just landed today. Ugh. But it's fairly heavy. Anyway, it says a moon on this. So um, I'm curious to see. Um, I'm curious to see what what's inside the box so we'll see that in a sec I like that the, the neck was kind of blackish color um, and I like that the bridge is chrome and black you see that in the picture now I'm guessing that that's just some kind of shadowing or you know for advertising purposes I I will almost guarantee that the bridge is not black and, and chrome but I think that looks cool but but what really caught my attention was it says the neck radius so the, the, the neck radius is 9.7 to 15.5. So I've, I gotta be honest, I haven't seen a sub $200 guitar that has a compound radius fretboard. And if it's a good compound radius fretboard, I'd be impressed. So I'm gonna unbox it um, on camera so that you guys can see what's in there just because it's supposed to come with a bunch of extra stuff. So it says the moon on, on the box. So all I did was slit the, slit the tape, so let's see what we get. There's nothing in there. Oh, all right, so it does come with a gig bag, and it does come with a connection cable. <laughs> Crappy cable. All right, and it does come with a strap. There's a strap here, just a like a super cheap, uh, you know, looks like a belt. We'll be using that. I don't see a tuner, I don't see a capo, oh, you know what, sorry, I spoke too soon, so let's see here, so we have, yeah, we have a tuner, oh, an extra pack is of no name brand strings, so there's a, an extra pack of strings, no idea what they are, but they're not going on it, that's for sure. Uh, hmm. Little capo here, let's see how... It kind of looks like the capo that I have, um, you know, for setting up my guitar and stuff, and the capo that I have is awesome, I gotta say. Well, I think it's just a cheaper version of it. Yeah. See, my capo, like, so it's one of these jobbies, and my capo has a a tension wheel here so you can you can uh, adjust the tension so you're not putting too much pressure on your your neck and your frets or whatever and this one is just like one size fits all so that's kind of garbage I wouldn't I wouldn't use that probably um, and then the tuner okay so you get the truss rod adjustment wrench and you get the bridge adjustment wrench and you get a yeah, nice nice little clot that's got the little you no know, little 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 designs at the bottom there, very pretty. Little frills. All right, so that's that's cool. I don't know. I guess this must have just came out, but slide that back in there. All right, and the tuner. Oh, we got some picks too. Oh, we got some picks, and we got a either an extra battery for the tuner, or this is <laughs> the battery for the tuner. Let's check that out here. Very quick to see if this tuner even comes on. So again, this this is a Batuti guitar, uh, sold by Batuti but fulfilled by Amazon. And this is the tuner, and and this is the battery because uh, there isn't one in there. So let me see if I can put this battery in. We'll see if it fires up. Oh wow, look at that. Tuner comes on. Yeah, so you got chromatic, guitar, bass, ukulele, violin. Huh, I don't know. We'll check it when we 
I'll tune the guitar with this and we'll see how it works. All right, here's the big reveal. Oh, and I got the white one. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yep, I got the white one. Um, again, no padding. I mean, the case has a little bit of padding, but that's about it. So, let's see here. All right, let's take this apart. It's always fun to open a new guitar. All right, well, it's not an unbranded headstock. It is definitely a moon. It says a moon on there. So, I don't know. It feels like it's... I, I don't feel... It's not elevated. It, it almost almost looks like... feels like it's part of the finish. It's actually really well done, I gotta say. Um, I was hoping I could just... It would just be like a sticker. I could peel it off if I like the guitar and put something else on there or whatever. Um, let me just take this bag off. Wow, you know what? I kind of like, kind of like the grain in the neck. But... Looks nice though, I like it. So check the back of the neck out. Look at that grain. I like, I like that. I like that, the splotchiness of the maple. I like that. It feels really good. Like there's no, it's, it's satin. There's no high gloss on it. Kind of a nice, kind of a nice neck. Uh, the fret ends, yeah, yeah, the fret ends are, the fret ends are super sharp, like you feel them all the way up the neck. Like, uh, Two Bike Mike would say it's a shredder. <laughs> definitely, definitely a shredder. So, but that doesn't surprise me. I'll take this off, but it's kind of nicely packaged. We do have a six saddle bridge. Um, it looks, you know, it looks not too bad. And the bridge actually has like a nice little groove between the adjustment screws so the string doesn't wander around like some of the other cheap budget guitars. So that that's pretty good. And of course the bridge isn't chrome and black, it's just chrome. Um, which is too bad because I kind of like that look. It was kind of neat looking but I kind of knew that it was probably just a picture thing. I really like this pick guard. I think that looks cool. Uh, it's just different and I like stuff that's different. Um, the but I, I got to say the body, look at the back here, like they have a, you know, they, they went through the trouble of, you know, printing their, their uh, neck plate. Um, the body is super nice and it's heavy, like there's weight to it. It's not, you know, it doesn't feel cheap. There's some decent weight to it. You got to love these stainless steel strap buttons, man. I can't wait to hear what they sound like. The edges are very rounded, a little more so than a traditional Fender Telecaster. Uh, it says quality control, QC pass sticker on the back, no signature, no date, no stamp, no anything. It says here on the plate, it says Amun. Uh, it says love music and love life, Amun, crafted in China. So surprise, surprise, crafted in China, the tuners, unbranded. Um, Right, they're just the regular fender kind of style tuners with the little screw, uh, stabilizer screw there at the bottom corner. Um, this is a 22 fret. Yep, 22 fret guitar. Um, notice how the fretboard is super square at the bottom. Like it's just a square cut. It's not rounded or... Like, anyway, but that's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me, anyway. Um, and the neck looks unbelievably dry. Like, I know this won't come out in the camera. Let's see if I can put this to the light. But it looks like, anyway, it's, it's crazy. And the frets are, you can hear it. Yeah, I'll put it by the mic. The mic is down. You guys hear that? <laughs> it's just... The frets are gritty. It's like they've never been polished. Definitely not been polished. Uh, have a look at this nut. Like I know it's a plastic nut and it's not going to stay if I keep it. But um, let me see how close I can get. That's that's cut really nice. It's clean. There's no crap in it. It's it, you know it looks it looks pretty good. The neck looks like it's nice and solid in the pocket. The string trees are super loose. 
I don't know why they put these butterfly trees. Listen, Fender and all you guitar companies, stop putting these crappy string trees on your guitar. Spend the extra buck thirty and buy something, <laughs> buy something decent, like buy a graphite one or something. Just, you know, for your customers. Anyway, I, uh, so we'll see how this works. But on the plus side, um, look at the strings over the magnets. They're bang on center. Every string is bang on over the center of those magnets. And the distance of the strings from the edge of the fretboard uh, on the bass side and the treble side are even. So that looks, that all looks good. Um, let's just plug this tuner and uh, try and get some kind of a, a tuning and I'll plug it in and we'll just see what it sounds like. Let's tune it. Well, we get a chord out of it. The action is super high. Check this out. See how high that is? That's crazy. So, anyway, um, let's plug this in. Let me just... So I have um, my Quilter Superblock US and Neck Pickup. Ah, oh, it's out of tune already. So, well, the harmonic at uh, the harmonic at the 12th fret, uh, along with the note, isn't terribly off. But uh, hmm. anyway, these are low output pickups for sure. Let me see. Thank 
not string through body. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the body. I'm impressed with the pickups. Uh, I'm impressed that the tuners actually hold tune, and uh, and that even with this crappy nut and these crappy string trees, that the strings aren't binding. That's what I don't know. I'm impressed with the bridge. Well, impressed. It's not like oh my god, but it's it's decent. You know, like, there's some meat to that bridge. Look how thick that thing is. You see that? That's a thick bridge plate. Um, so, it's, you know, it's not like the thin little metal bridges that you can find on some guitars. And it's a three-ply pickguard. Um, just a bare-bones kind of telly, and that's, I, you know, I'm a sucker for telly. Especially a $159 one. Canadian. So, for you guys in the States, it's what? It'd be, uh, like, $6.75? $6.75? <laughs> I just get So anyway, let's see if this thing can 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 gain at all. sit in my basement with the humidity set of 45% relative humidity for a couple days and see how it turns out. Uh, this will not be seeing a gig anytime soon and um, whether I keep it or sell it I will let you guys know. But as for now this is the Batuti Telecaster on Amazon for 169 bucks without the coupon. Uh, Canadian. and But they're branded as Amoon. Um, yeah. That's it. You and me checking out gear in my basement. Volume 1. Have a good one, guys. God bless. Take care.